All right, Darren Gloria, we are now at 3532 Marshfield Road. Um, so the price in this house, the asking price is $425. Uh, with that being said, so I came inside first. We'll do the outside tour after. You can say hello to the nice little kitty. Um, so again, as we come in, this is going to be the door, the main door right behind me. So as we come in, we're going to have, uh, you know, what you could consider the office. Uh, you could convert into a first floor master. It's going to have the French doors opening up. You have much more space, as you can see, walking in than, uh, you know, than, than, than the um, property on Wilson. I'm sorry. Uh, that was kind of tight when you walked in. Typical of that style of a house, but this one has, you know, a bit much more of an open concept. As you can see, that's going to be the sensory room upstairs they were talking about for their artistic child. Really nice chandelier. You still have the light right there. So as we come back, it's going to be the door that we came in. And I'll show you more of that when we finish up here. So come on in. As you can see, this is the office. Really cool. Looks like we have a sports collector right here. So lots of pictures on the wall. Nice, uh, looks to be like a bam, it's actually a bamboo floor. So it's a really nice floor. Nice size room. Um, you know, now it's being used as an office. You could easily convert this uh, back into, um, you know, not back into, but you could convert this to a bedroom if you choose. Recessed lighting, overhead fan, good size. Two windows overlooking. So this is going to be the front of the lawn right there. It's going to be your front porch. That's going to be the neighbor's house across the street. And we'll see more when we go outside, but you're definitely in God's country right here. Um, beautiful for sure. So coming back on out, we are now going to walk across. See the uh, dining room, main door. So again, windows look to be good. This house was built in 2011, so it's going to be original. You know, minor scratches on here from the cat and whatnot. Not overly concerned, nothing a little bit of paint can't fix. However, the windows overall look to be, um, you know, in pretty good condition. So the house is only 10 years old. So again, we have recessed lighting, more bamboo flooring throughout here. So as we come on in, now it looks like we're going to be making a left into our kitchen. Actually, this is going to be a little pantry. Um, I do see right there, we have a piece of the flooring coming up. Uh, not the end of the world. You could, you know, transition it something different in here. It wouldn't be a big deal. You can see they have a transition plate right there where my foot is. So you could easily just, you know, put a different floor in here. It wouldn't be an expensive um, job where you can just live with that as is. Again, recessed lighting, a little bit of storage here. Coming on through, this is going to be our kitchen now. So as you can see, big open concept, uh, big kitchen for you. So as we come, here you go. Gonna have the overhead range, the hood fan. We actually have a water right here. You know, so you can fill out the pots and stuff. This is a pretty cool uh, feature right there. It's gonna be your nozzle on. Nice uh, backsplash. Really nice cabinets. Yeah. Nice backsplash. Looks like again we have a Corian countertop here. Solid surface. You can see we have some tile flooring here, a bunch of recessed lighting. We're just going to do a quick overview of this whole area. So I'm in the back corner now by the bread cabinet, or the bread box, I'm sorry. Dual bin, looks like a forged copper stove, or up uh, stove, uh, copper um, sink basin. Pretty cool, really nice. Definitely something custom right there. Again, looking out the windows, it's gonna be the backyard. As you can see, your closest house is gonna be right over there. Uh, you do have a full on privacy fence, six foot to get you around. And there's the kitty again. Coming on over, we have our oven right here, built in. This is gonna be a different uh, island right here. As you can see, that's got more of a marbleishly look. Kitty wants to be pet. Um, you know what? No, it actually is the it is going to be the same counter over here and there. What's going to be different is you can see the cabinets right there. More of like a dark cherry finish where these are going to be more of like a, uh, you know, white um, classical finish type to them. So coming on over, again, you're going to have like your little Eden, 
uh, kitchen area right here. Come on out. We're gonna come out the doors. It looks like the, only this door is operable. The other side is just the window right there. So you come out that door. You're gonna have your stamped concrete patio, hot tub right there, and a nice size, uh, nice size lawn. You know, not not overly huge like the last one, but easy maintenance. Uh, you know, just more, I guess, peace and, and uh, um, privacy in this one in the simple sense that it's fenced in. So, um, but yeah, here. Looking at an open concept for sure. So as we come on over, some more windows. Looks like this used to be a built-in for maybe a gas stove. I don't know if that was a gas insert right there at one point behind. Could have been a, eh, most likely was a gas insert. Could fill it in, could put something in there. You have options. So here's another look from the kitchen. Pretty big, spacious kitchen. Lots of countertop space here, which is nice. And just that open um, floor plan concept. This cat does not want to leave me alone. So as we're coming on out, now we're, that is our front door again. So as we come to our left, we're going to have our half bath. Let's see if I can get a light on here. So our half bathroom, uh, pretty simple. Not really sure what kind of tile that is. It is a tile. Other than that, pretty pretty simple uh, basic half bath on your first floor, which you would expect. So turning around behind us, I'm assuming this is going to be to the basement. Yes, it is. So we'll do the basement first. And as you can see, we are now back out here. So let's head on down to our basement. We turn the light on. So unfinished uh, drywall right here. You can see they mudded it and everything. Definitely could be used, uh, you know, have some paint done to it. Uh, the wooden stairs, you could easily finish these up if you wanted. But it appears that we're just going down into a basement, kind of what you would, you know, expect when stuff's getting moved down here. Lots of ding scratches and such, um, you know, easily fixable. Um, just not really cosmetically appealing at the very moment. So again, we're talking about a house 10 years old, so I'm not overly concerned, um, about the foundation. First thing I want to do is take a deep breath. I don't smell moisture down here. I see lots and lots of stuff. Um, I see some cobwebs. This tells me this basement's, you know, pretty much been untouched, not really used or anything, just full of stuff. As you can see, we have our water softener. We have our sump pump over there. Nice, spacious, looking about nine foot ceiling. So you would easily have room to finish these off if you wanted. Back up the stairway. This would be on the left side coming down the steps. And lots of stuff in here right now. Um, you know, however you have, you have the tall ceilings, it's got a lot of potential once all this gets emptied out. No signs of moisture, no smell of, you know, musty mildew mold or anything like that. Good, good sign. Coming on over. I'm not going to miss it this time. Here's our electric panel. Appears to be a 200 amp. Might be 150. Doesn't say on there. So coming on over. Here's going to be our furnace. Nice Bryant furnace. I'm assuming this is going to be original to the home. Looks like 2011 it was manufactured, so it's put in, yeah, 2012, most likely when the house was put up. So hot water tank's probably going to be the same. Right over there, we're going to have reverse, uh, reverse osmosis. It's going to be the holding tank and the filtration system. As you can see, coming on over, you have pretty much just a bare bone basic that has the potential of whatever you want it to be. And as we're coming on over, and that's really about all there is to see in the basement. So let's uh, head on back upstairs. So this kind of just does a U, as you can see, we're back to where we started down here. Now we're gonna head upstairs, see what we have up there. Okay, now we're at the top of the stairs. So, top of the basement stairs is our kitchen, main door, office, dining room. Let's do a 180 here. 
And now we're gonna go up the stairs. These again is gonna have the same as the floor, nice bamboo staircase. You know, I see like a little patches right there. Nothing a little paint won't fix. So we're coming up, we're continuing on with the bamboo flooring. So looks like here's where we catch a lot of our space for the upstairs. So, all right, so stairs right behind us. So now I'm up at the top, top step. So we're gonna come up, that's gonna be in front of us. There's that window you can see from downstairs. We're gonna take an immediate left. Looks to be the master. So very nice, bamboo floor again. Uh, nice vaulted ceiling here, fan, has a really nice um, open, you know, tall, spacious concept to it, with the, especially with the vaulted ceilings or whatnot. So coming on out. As you can see, here's our backyard. Does overlook the house next door. Yep, plenty of distance in between. I'd say that other house is probably a solid 100 yards away, if not a little bit further. It's not like it's right, right on top of you, so you do have some space there. So with that being said, here's from the corner view. As you can see in front of us, we're gonna have the master bath. Let's see what we have in here. Looks like to be the walk-in closet, I'm guessing. Okay, Gloria, this is much bigger for you. Gives you a little bit more space. Dale, you might actually have some room to put some stuff in here as well. Pull down, attic access. We won't go up there this time. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Nice, spacious. Another view, we'll turn the light out. Now we're gonna head on to the master bath. I meant to forgot to mention, we have recessed lighting in there, as well as a ceiling fan. So coming on in, we have some nice, actually it looks to be 14 inch tiles. So let's take in, so as we come in the door, I'm sorry, I was looking at the floor. As we come in, we're gonna have our bath right there. We have a dual vanity, his and hers. Walk-in shower, old eagle style claw tub right here. The claw feet. We have a microwave, nothing better than have a microwave right by you in the, in the tub. Not really sure what's going on there. And there's gonna be our half bath with a door to be open and closed. Window out the side of the house out the front of the house. That's my car, so you can see that's again across the street. Roof looks to be pretty good. Uh, windows, you know, again, not bad. Um, looks like they have a tint in them right there. You can kind of see, a, I don't know if that's peeling or what, that would be something that would an inspector would know more about. I don't think it's an issue, but um, definitely not an insulation. If anything, it might, that, that just might stay there that little, you can kind of see it. So we have a heat lamp up there. We have a few heat lamps. Coming back on out. Now we're gonna take an immediate left. Mind you again, if we were to go right over there, that's gonna be our stairway downstairs. So as we go left, we have bedroom number two. Definitely much smaller. Still has some recessed lighting in it, four recessed lights. Huge TV for a small bedroom, but all right. And then we have the closet right there. Right now it's an open closet. You could just put some doors back on it, close it up. And then we just have a window looking in again to our backyard. So as we come on out of here, we're now gonna make our way. Remember, that's the master over there. That's the stairs right there. That's coming right there. Looks like we have our little linen closet right here. Pretty simple. So I'll just show you around quick. Here's our view. Looking down, you could easily take this window if you wanted to open it back up or you could leave it, you could close it off. You have options. 
Um, not really sure if that's something you want to do or not. So we're continuing on the theme out here is this bamboo floor. It looks like it's going to go out throughout the entire place. So bedroom number three. Used to be a little bit bigger than bedroom number two. Recess lighting again with a fan. Closet, you could always put the doors back on. Decent size, not overly big, not, not small by any means. Good size room. Coming across the hall, this would be bedroom number four. Another decent size, no closet doors. Recessed lighting, a fan. Window outlook, there's another picture of the roof. What I was talking about with the windows is just those little nicks. Looks like the cat kind of sits up here and scratches. Not bad at all. You know, something paint going over with a coat of paint would, would take great care of that. So now we're going to come on out. So here's going to be our bathroom. Nice deep bathroom, as you can see. So you walk, so as we're coming, we're coming. You know, so just set this back up. So that's the room we just came out of. Come out to the hall. Here we go. Immediate sink. Again, we have the dual um, vanity sinks right there. Split apart. You have your toilet right there. And you have your tub. So this tub looks to be pretty cheaply been putting back together. Um... Just did a pretty bad caulk job, as you can see on it. You know, something I would consider if you guys liked the house, had that looked at inspection, but you know, probably plan on having to replace that down the road, um, just for from an aesthetic standpoint, you know. But uh, not bad. You know, the paint job up there, you can see it looks like it was done by the owner. They missed some spots down there, some not the greatest trim job. So a fresh paint of coat wouldn't, or a fresh coat of paint wouldn't hurt. So now we're coming back out of the bathroom, taking this left. I believe this is the sensory room right here. So this is definitely the man cave or the woman cave, whichever one you want. Coming on in though, we have the door right there that closes. We come right here to the right. I don't see any lights here. So this is actually, I think the sensory room. Maybe hold on. This looks like to be the little sensory room. So it's kind of where it capes off right here. The wall sits down nearly, you know. So for me, I can get about a quarter way, almost halfway into the room, and then it cuts out. This looks to be a sensory room, though, to calm the sun down or whatnot. Um, all right, here we are. The upstairs hangout, second living room. Pretty darn cool. Nice big area here. Little nook right there. You can easily put an office up here. This could be, you know, separation from you two when you guys get mad at each other. Need some time alone. Coming on out, we have what's like that first uh, little room we had about the same size, a little sensory. This is more or less just storage, though. Bamboo floor again. Coming on out, they have a hot tub or a sauna, I'm sorry, up here. This is not included in the sale. Oh, they, you think they would, because that's going to be a pain in the behind to get out. So coming on out, we have, uh, you can see the windows looking out to the back of the house. Recessed lighting. Nice big room. Uh, I can see a lot of potential for this to be fixed up and thought out. So here we have our laundry, second floor laundry. Um, if you're, you know, not liking the second floor, you could easily put this back uh, down in the basement. You could run the laundry and a little wash tub behind you. Some storage, recessed lighting coming out. Okay, so it's pretty much going to be this. So with that being said, that is mostly the um, upstairs. And then we're coming right here, looking back out the hallway. And you can see the stairs way in front there. So quick recap, we come out. Just turn around, there's gonna be the room, sensory room, nook. Up here is gonna be the actual living space. A little storage closet over there. And then over there in that corner, we're gonna have our laundry room. So let's come on out. 
as before, right here is going to be our bathroom. Okay, come out to our left. It's going to be one of the children's room again. If we come back around, looking at another one of the children's room. And probably, in my opinion, the biggest room outside of the master. Another linen closet. Master. Walk-in bathroom, stand-in, tub. Walk-in closet. Coming back on out. I'm gonna take a 180, go down the stairs. I'm gonna toss on my shoes quick. We'll go out front and uh, walk out to the road, show you the property from the road view, and uh, we'll be complete here. So hang tight with me for just a minute, leave my shoes on, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Oh, I got you upside down. So now we're gonna stand up and we're gonna head on outside, show you guys the front. Nice windy day out here in Western New York. Lock this thing up. Okay, we'll do a quick tour of the out front here. Let me just go make sure this door locked. I just heard it beep. I'll come back and do that after. All right, so here's going to be the front. The stove side's right, right there. A little porch. Two and a half car garage. Nice decorative door. Plenty of side yard over here. Nice uh, concrete driveway. Doesn't look too, too old. Side of the house. Going on back. I'm assuming that's the property line right there. That's the building way out to the front. You can kind of see the stop going over there. I'm going to take out to the road real quick and we'll call this a day. Beautiful scenery though. Like the views here. So I'm back up. Uh, in Syracuse, out in the country. You know, you just can't beat these views. Sitting on the porch on a nice summer night. There's a major, uh, not a major, there's a turn right there. There's houses down there, there's that white house inside. Alright, guys, so this is going to do the tour for us. I'll post these videos here in about the next hour when I get home. Uh, I'll upload them, I should say. Probably about two or three hours I should have them uploaded and uh, ready for you guys to view. Alright, we'll be in touch guys. Bye.